I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. You're here because you're getting the CLI and MSP beta flight arming status prevention flags, and that is what's preventing you from flying your quadcopter. I'm going to tell you how to troubleshoot that. This video is one in a series focusing on all of the beta flight arming status prevention flags. The intro gives you a little bit of background on the arming status prevention flags, and I suggest if you haven't watched that, that you go ahead and do it. Let's talk about the CLI and the MSP flags. Here's the most common way that you will run into the CLI and MSP arming status flags. Just built a new quadcopter, you're getting it all set up. You go into the modes tab and you're setting up your arming mode. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. And you hit save. And you go and you turn your transmitter on and you flip the switch. And what you see is that this little indicator moves into the correct position to show that the quadcopter should be arming, but it doesn't arm. So the next thing you do is you go to the command line and you type status and you look at your arming disable flags and that's where you see CLI and MSP. The good news is that CLI and MSP are the easiest arming status flags to troubleshoot. They don't mean anything. Well, what they mean is that Betaflight will refuse to arm when you are in the command line. So if you're literally in that command line window typing a bunch of stuff, screwing with your configuration, Betaflight's like, oh, whoa, I can see you're jacking around here. Let me just not arm the quad until you're done. And that way, if you make some change to the configuration that would suddenly cause the quad to arm, hold on, I'm not ready yet, it won't arm on you. So all you got to do to get rid of the CLI flag is exit the CLI which you really shouldn't be doing when you're flying anyway. This, this flag only comes up when you're actually troubleshooting and configuring. It should never come up when you're not in the CLI. So the CLI flag you can essentially ignore. As soon as you unplug USB, it's going to go away. What about the MSP flag? The MSP flag means that Betaflight will not arm any time that you are connected to the configurator. The configurator uses the MSP protocol, stands for Multi-Wii Serial Protocol. It uses this protocol to talk to the configurator and configure itself. And for the same reason, Betaflight will refuse to arm when that's happening. Now, you actually can override this setting by going to the Motors tab and ticking this box. I understand the risks. Propellers are removed. Once you do that, the MSP arming status flag will go away. And now if you want to, you can go to the modes tab and you can test your arming mode and your quadcopter will arm. And in fact, if we go to the command line and type status, you can see now the MSP arming status flag is gone. So that's the CLI and MSP arming status flags. The number one way to get rid of them is just to unplug USB from your flight controller. In other words, if those are your only arming status flags, you're actually good to go. As soon as you actually take your quad outside and try to fly it, it should arm. And if it doesn't arm, then you need to put that warning OSD element in your OSD, like I showed you in the introduction video, which you definitely watched, right? Oh, didn't you? Down in the video description, there's a link to the playlist for all these videos, and I strongly advise you to watch that first video. That's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any questions. Did I, did I miss something here? Leave any questions down in the comments. I do my best to answer all the comments that I get. Thank you for watching. Happy flying.